The biggest question around budget is always about where will the money come from? And it's not different this time round. Going by last year's statistics, KRA was required to collect 1.5 trillion in revenues. The statistics we do have indicate that they are 400 billion short of target with two months to go. The CS has given them uh, a target of 1.75 trillion for the coming year. So how will the CS seek to fund this 3 trillion budget? All indications are, firstly, he will be overhauling, he'll be seeking to overhaul the Income Tax Act. We already have the Income Tax Bill, which uh, has really you know, introduced a new act. And uh, with this measure alone, is likely to generate a lot more revenues. So the proof of that will really be in the detail and we are all looking to see what provisions really see the light of day. But all indications are as this will be a, a big source of, of the increased uh, revenues that he will be seeking. Another area he will really fall back on is um, the recategorization of goods and services from zero rated to exempt. We have already seen that in the tax uh, laws amendment bill and he is likely to include a few, a few more goods under this category. Another area, as usual, we talk of syntax and in this area then again we are looking at excise duty and he's raiding you know, common goods like uh, bottled water and um, soft drinks. So this is likely to generate uh, a, a few more revenues to, to the exchequer. And uh, finally, I also look at uh, things like personal taxation. We have seen him seeking to introduce a higher tax band of 35% for high net worth or high income earners, as well as uh, some modifications to the capital gains tax and a raft of few other measures that are likely to generate uh, additional revenue to the exchequer. For further insights, uh, the KPMG team will be more than happy to shed more light and to give insights as to all the provisions and the proposals that the CES will be making later on the budget day to you, the businessman, and to the common Mwanainchi.